Okay, I'm going to show you how to how I would make a 4x6 envelope. So first we're going to go over to our grid window. I'm going to set the spacing to 1 inch, my divisions to 8, so that gives me 8th inch increments. And for the moment I'm going to click both show grid and snap to grid. Okay, so first of all I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm just going to make it 4 by 6 and that actually went exactly 4 by 6 because I have snap to grid on. If I wanted to input I could go to my scale window and plug in 6 inches by 4 inches here. Um, I'm going to now make an offset because I want an envelope that's just slightly larger than 4 by 6 so click offset. I want the corner option and I'm going to choose that to 0 0.120 apply. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is draw a line that I'm just going to use as a guideline. So I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'll draw it perfectly straight and I'm going to change that to orange in my line color window just so I know it's a guide. And these two I'm going to change just to a black line color. The inner rectangle I'm going to fill with a light gray. And let's see. If I didn't have snap to grid on, I would go here at this point and go to my align window and choose center. Okay, so now I want to draw my flaps. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to draw my flaps the way I want them to look. Go to my polygon, polygon line tool, just tap down, and bring that just a little below the halfway mark, tap down again, and tap up here to close. So I have that and I want to make a copy of it to the right but I'm going to mirror it so click in my replicate window click mirror right and I'm going to drag that over so the lines meet up and I have what I need here I've got my points crossing over exactly on this orange guideline now I'm going to point at it so double click let's see I can get the right one. If that doesn't work, just go over to your point edit button. Zoom in. I want to add a point right here and right here. Oh. Now my snap to grid is messing me up. Turn off snap to grid. Alright, point edit this again. I want my little line to be right here where they all cross. And I'm going to delete that one. Now back over here, I'm going to point at it this one, same way, add a point right here, right where they meet, and a point right here. And delete this point. Okay, I'm going to turn my snap to grid back on. And I'm going to actually fill these two. Hold down my shift key while I select those. And I'm going to fill them with gray, just so I know they're th that they're there and that they're flaps. Now I need to make my bottom and top flap. So I'm going to go back, zoom in, go back to my polygon line tool, and just tap down the points where I want them. And on this one I'm actually going to add a little bit of a flap here and since it's on snap to grid that should go 
same place on both sides. And that'll give a little area when you're gluing it together. You would put the glue along here. Okay. Select that one again. Fill it with a color. And now I'm going to use a copy of that mirror above to draw my top flap. Point at it again. So I'm just going to drag it down here and snap the grid is on, but if it weren't, I would pull this guideline back up and you can see that it meets, it meets there the way I want to. Alright, so now I have all my flaps, but I need to weld it together. So I'm going to get rid of this guideline. This one, I'm going to go up to Object, Transform, Flip Vertically. Same thing for this one. Object, Transform, Flip Vertically. And move it where it belongs. These ones, Object, Transform, Flip Horizontally. Object, Transform, Flip Horizontally. Alright, I don't need this guy anymore. And actually, I want a copy of this rectangle in a minute, so I'm just going to hold down my Alt key or Option on a Mac, click and drag a copy away to use in a minute. Put that back. I'm going to select all of these, and I'm going to fill them with color so I can make sure they are um, lined up where I want them. I'm actually going to increase the transparency that's going to help me make sure that they are just slightly overlapped. Zoom in here. If I weld now, they may leave some gaps. So I'm just going to nudge, oops, turn off my snap to grid. Alright, now I'm going to nudge with my arrow keys. Just overlapping a tiny bit. on each edge. And now, when I weld them, select all of those, right click, weld. Now when I weld all of those, they're actually overlapping and not just butted up against each other. Um, select, I'm just, I brought that rectangle over that I'd saved. I'm going to turn that to a perforated line now. So go to Line Style Window, Perforated. I'm going to zoom in and make sure that that is where I want it. Nudge it just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now I'm just going to group it together. Control G, Command G, or right click, choose group. There's lots of ways. Now you can see that it is a little longer than 12 inches. You could design it differently, or you can just rotate it. And even if you are working with um, an original or an SD silhouette, you can change it to letters. It'll fit on a letter size paper as long as you rotate it. Oh goodness, well my earlier <laughs> my earlier options <clears throat> samples did. So I apologize for that. You would just need to design it so it does fit. Make sure that that's actually a four by six. Yeah, that's still four by six. So you would just need to design it slightly differently. You could um, cut these sides off you can make this one taller, whatever you need to um, to make that work. You can see this one I was able to fit the way I designed it, so it just takes a little um, playing around with. But there you go, that's how you make a 4x6 envelope. 
and hopefully you can use these design tools to make any size envelope that you want. Happy crafting!